outlook for the global economy in 2011? I think it's really a mixed uh, picture. The developed economies um, experiencing sluggish growth, uh, although the business climate is much improved over the circumstances that we had over the last few years. The emerging markets, especially uh, countries like India, uh, China, and Brazil, are doing extremely well, and uh, we expect that to, to continue. Uh, the MENA region in particular is very strong as well, uh, with the uh, rebound in, in, in prices of oil and other uh, natural commodities. But we are continuing to see strength in the MENA region. The world in 2011 is exceedingly complex, interconnected and unpredictable. How can organizations develop resilience in this new world of risk? I think as we look towards the new paradigm, increasingly emerging markets um, are becoming uh, one of the best ways to mitigate your risk as a, as a business uh, uh, going forward. Um, you know, there's no better way to uh, reduce risk than entering into high growth markets where the opportunity for generating better than average profits uh, you know, really uh, exists. So, I would say, going forward, that the number one way to cut your risk of doing business is by um, diversifying your business uh, using emerging markets as a platform. And you know, our company in particular is really um, um, investing heavily in emerging markets, and um, we feel that's going to be a cornerstone of our strategy going forward. As global growth shifts to the developing world, what should be the role of business in developing countries? I think it's. Uh, very important for business to take a long-term view with respect to the emerging markets. Um, uh, as we uh, look forward to the emerging markets, it's very important that we um, um, try to leapfrog some of the um, uh, sort of technologies that, and the approaches that were first adopted in the developed economies and try to start off the bat with the best possible um, approach to doing business. And, I think our role as, as business leaders is to make sure that we're starting off in the emerging markets with a very modern slate, very clean slate, and basically um, bringing the latest technology and the latest solutions to bear from day one um, so that we don't have to go through the learning curve that we ha had to in, in some of our other uh, developed uh, uh, economies. What would you consider the most important norms that an increasingly interdependent yet diverse world needs to share? Well, I think first and foremost, uh, the view of stakeholders and their increasing importance uh, to your business is really something that uh, has changed over the last few years. And as you plan for the future and as you look to how you want to grow your business, how you want to improve it, I think you need to take a more inclusive look as to the entire body of stakeholders that are important to your business and those that are important to your, to your, to your constituents. So going forward, I think it's a much broader view of what's important to, to, to business. And I think that's you know, one of the ways that things have changed over the last few years. How can companies turn sustainability into a competitive advantage? Our core business is helping companies re-engineer their supply chains. Um, in the past, we focused on delivering efficiencies around cost, efficiencies around time, value propositions around industry. I think the new paradigm will be uh, re-engineering value chains around uh, sustainable uh, concepts and stakeholder inclusion. Uh, I think if we approach our supply chains um, in that way, and uh, start from scratch and uh, take, a, take an inclusive approach to, to these, uh, these new um, processes, I think we'll be in a position to really create a sustainable advantage for the years to come.